Hi there! Would you like to learn how to paint pop art with acrylics? Marilyn Monroe is one of my favorite subjects that uh, Andy Warhol used for his fabulous art. So I created this tutorial step by step for you and that's coming up next. Hey, I'm Natalie and on this channel I create painting tutorials for you and also art supply reviews. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the tutorial. Let's get started. So to paint today, you need some white, black, red, blue, and yellow. I'm also using a gloss glazing liquid. Don't forget a cup of water and some paper towels. For my brushes, I have an angle brush, a medium flat brush, a small detail brush, and a large flat brush. You'll need a small round sponge. And also don't forget to print your stencil. Both links are in the description below. I am painting on a small 11 by 14 stretched canvas. So I place my traceable on top of a piece of carbon paper and I secure it with tape. Now make sure you go over all of your lines. Now carbon paper you can find that at Staples or I have a link in the description to order it online. And lift your image uh, before you remove your paper so that you see that all your lines are really there. So mix just a little bit of yellow and your glaze and apply it all over your canvas. So the glaze is going to be a foundation for me to get those really crisp lines. It helps with uh, smoothing out the grain of the canvas. We're going to let this dry and come back with our nice blue-green background. We're going to create kind of a blue-green like this for the background. Let me show you how to do that. Let's grab some white, a good amount. Load your brush about twice and bring it in the middle and grab a corner of blue. So we have a medium to light blue. And now we want to warm this up to create our blue green. So again, with the corner of our brush, we're gonna just load our brush with some yellow and bring it into the medium blue. This is gonna be the color for the background. So we're going to paint these two areas right here. So we're going to use our large brush and you can switch to a smaller brush to go here in the little smaller areas. I'm using my smaller brush for the little areas right here. Back to my large brush. I want to create the eyeshadow above her eye with the same color of the background. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the glaze. It's a gloss glazing liquid, but now I'm going to be using that medium to create transparency. So I'm using the same color as the background and I'm mixing about one part of blue, two parts of glazing. So I'm just going to do a brush stroke right, right here. 
and right here. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got so you're basically covering from the eyebrow down to her eye right here. Same thing here. I'm applying a little bit more. I want to do a little bit of blue here as well. It's just for balancing, just to add a little bit more of that blue. Next, we're going to create the skin tone for her face. I'm doing a, a pink skin tone. I'm going to grab a little bit of white, corner of red, maybe a little bit more white. I would say two part white, one part red, and warm it up with some yellow. And now we're going to add this color to the face. I like the look of the transparency that our layer of glazing at the beginning is giving us with the skin tone. I'm applying very light touches. I'm kind of happy with the skin tone. I really like it. Okay, so next we're gonna move to the very um, dark areas of our painting and that's where things are going to really start to pop. I'm going to mix blue and black together equal part. Uh, blue black basically it's just making your Mars black just a little softer. We're going to cover all this area is going to be this dark blue black and um, we're going to go and cover these areas we're going to be very careful these are like little islands almost and i'll show you where the black goes i'm going to put some little touches where we're going to apply our black so right here so this is going to be all black this here is going to be black okay this is going to be black we're going to have black eyebrows these are going to be black black. This whole area is going to be black right here. Okay, so so I want to start with this area right here while this dries a little bit more. So now would be a good time to pause again and uh, clean your water and we'll come back with this yellow hair and brighten it up and then we'll finish up some details in here with the black and then we'll do some uh, really cool effects for our pop art um, creation. Now I'm using my pure yellow to brighten up the hair. I'm using my small flat, medium flat brush. It's a number four. Now your yellow is a very transparent color. So what I wanna do is go over my guideline and kind of give it like half an inch past my guideline and this is going to create a really cool effect just at the hairline I did a little bit going over with my yellow adding a little bit more here and that's about it our next step is going to be the black outline now we have this blue black color that we used for the turtleneck 
and we're just going to add a little bit of water to make it more fluid for those smaller areas. So maybe add about 10 drops of water in your black. Mix it. So now we're going to use a very small, very fine brush. It's our, it's our detail brush. And let's start working on those areas that are very small areas all around. I'm keeping a piece of paper towel and I'm gonna twirl my brush to make sure there's no extra paint at the tip of my brush. Take a step back to see the truth around you. From a distance, you can tell. Now we're going to do the outline outside, work a little bit outside the hairline and come back with those little areas. I just want to make sure you understand what's going on right here. So we start outside right here and you can start on top and just basically bring your guidelines down like this. You can outline the nose. I'm going to apply some red with a medium round brush on her lip right here. So this area is actually her bottom lip and the black underneath will be the shadow under the lips. So this is red, but this is all going to be black. So we're going to switch to our small brush and continue the dark outline. With my small brush, I'm going back with a little flesh tone just to fix this area a little bit. Kind of to smooth out the transition. Kind of going over the red. Like this. Just, just a little bit over the red. I'm not covering the whole thing. I'm using the tip of my brush for the beauty mark. And finishing this area. We're not done here. I thought I was. <laughs> okay, just outlining her jaw.
these little dots right here. A few dots right here. We might add a little bit of blue and the other side. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to I'm mixing more of the pink of her face, the skin tone, but with a little bit more red to make it a little bit more pink. And I'm going to do a little bit of dots in the background. With a small sponge, I'm just going to create some interesting texture and layering on the back. Next, I'm just still using my blue black kind of to go over some of the areas where I can see that some of the paint is missing. Might have missed a few spots, so just going to go over it and I'm putting it pretty thick. I like to see a little bit of texture and the brush stroke. Last but not least, I want to add some touches of white so with my small flat brush and I just want to do some highlights just one right here a little touch on the shoulders Near to see from up here I'm going to add a touch in her hair right here. We can sit together. A little bit more you right here. We meant to be in the great outdoors forever free. I want to do a few touches with the back of my brush. Inside where we put the blue. I'm doing a few dots here with the back of my brush. This helps with the transition of the yellow right here. Here we go. She's shining. And with my very small brush, I'm going to do a few dots in her eyes. I'm going to do the dots at the bottom left corner. A little dab on the lips. I'm going to add yellow here instead of the flesh tone. So this is her ear and now this is part of her hair. There. Better. Touching up some little areas here and there. A 
coming back with a little bit of coming back with a little bit of white. Et voilà, we have our pop art Marilyn Monroe style painting. I hope you had fun. Let's sign our artwork and say goodbye. So before I say goodbye, I just really wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me and painting this pop art portrait of Marilyn Monroe. Again, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to paint with me again, make sure to check out these latest painting tutorials. I'll see you soon. Until then, stay creative. Bye for now.